Seth Rogen stops a fan from continuing challenge that will likely get him killed. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AFG's Point of View where I give you my analysis on the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video we have a crazy crazy fan who would do anything and I do mean anything to get celebrity attention. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button as well. It'll bring more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over, similar to yourself. All my normal subscribers, thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. People will go to great lengths to get noticed by their favorite celebrities, whether it be tweeting them constantly, following them all over the world, or going all Alan Partridge and converting a room of your home into a shrine dedicated to them. However, one man went further than most in his quest to get one of Seth Rogen, Snoop Dogg, or Wiz Khalifa's attention. Rather than just firing a few messages over social media, he started a performance that lasted 43 days before Rogen stepped in to stop the challenge from going any further. This guy decided to put on a show of his own, declaring that he was going to be pulling a stunt until one of these three celebrities responded to him. With a lit cigar stuck up each nostril and two more jams in his ears, it was clear he really wanted one of those three to notice him. He even finished the challenge with a flourish, flipping a fifth cigar into the air and catching it in his mouth as it fell. As far as tricks, that begin with cigars stuck in your ears and up your nose go. Not that I can say I've seen many, but it's really quite impressive. Luckily, on the 43rd day, he finally got noticed by Rogan, who tweeted, Dear God, man, I'm noticing you. Stop. You do not have to proceed to the next holes. Um, okay, so I'm not going to continue to read. I'm going to dig into this because I got so much to say about this. And I'll leave the rest of the story in. You know, you can check the link in the description. I might even have a, some, you know, a little bit of video added to this, um, to the, this actual story. And then, you know, my commentary and so forth for someone. But I'm going to dig into my point right now. And that way, you know, we'll, we'll figure this out. All right. So this guy wanted to get some attention from Seth Rogen, Wiz Khalifa, or Snoop Dogg. We don't know what kind of attention, why he wanted attention, and why did you choose those three celebrities? You know what I'm saying? Why couldn't it just be anybody? But, you know, he went on for 43 days, no longer, you know, like six weeks. Um, and kind of went forward and just started smoking cigars in every hole of his body. It's pretty strange. As a matter of fact, I'm going to stop the video right here. We're going to watch this video. And then we're going to come back to the next portion of it. What I'm really digging to and say. More after this. Day 43 trying to get Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, and Seth Rogen to notice me. Okay, so seeing that horrific stunt that my man was playing. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. As a man, I am not doing whatever I need to be doing. Obviously, correct. Because maybe I'm off and maybe my brain is a little wired a little differently and I should be doing what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Because he's getting attention to the other celebrities. Nah, nah. I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with me. Okay, there's something wrong with this cat. And... As you can very well see, you putting cigars up your nose, in your mouth, in your ears, all in your body, like all that smoke. I'm not understanding what the whole gist of it was. I'm not sure why you did it. You know what I'm saying? He just wanted to get their attention. And it's just like, okay, did you get their attention so that you can get a shot at Hollywood, that you can get on somebody's album and do a rap? Um, did you want to get in the next movie? Like... I'm trying to figure out why you was doing that. See, I'm a little disappointed because us as men, okay, and a lot of you out there is watching our men, 
Um, I got some ladies out here, you know what I'm saying? You know, I love the ladies, love the ladies. But a lot of you men, listen up. You don't have to jump through hoops, you know what I'm saying, and do all kinds of crazy things just to get somebody's attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't go out on your own merit, do what you need to do, you're going to get seen eventually, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, when I started this YouTube channel, guess how many subscribers I had? That many, okay? I kept it moving. I didn't do no crazy stunts, no crazy flip backwards and, you know, jump out the window and, you know, shout to the heavens and all kinds of crazy, you know, you know, wild, crazy stunts like, you know what I'm saying? Riding on the back of a truck with a skateboard and trying to get seen going viral. Nah, I ain't do all that. I just did it the normal way. You know what I'm saying? I went in, made a video, and just learn and grow. I'm, I'm all about learning and growing and getting better and doing what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? If you, see, if you look at my video from day one to now, there's been a major change. And guess what? From this video this point on, year two now from now, it's going to be way better. So it's just like, as I said, I'm learning and I'm growing, okay? Now, I said all that to say, you don't need the attention of others. You, if you're doing enough, okay, and you're making enough, you know, um, if you're doing something and you're sticking with it, okay, and, you know, you're doing your thing. You don't have to worry about screaming and shouting and getting your name called and all that. Just do you. The right people will come along. The right people are going to see you, the right people are going to ride with you, and the right people going to stick with you all the way through. You know what I'm saying? The right people are already picked out for you. You just got to go through the you got to go through the process. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't just sit there and say, "Well, you know, no one's noticing me. You know, I'm in school and no one pays attention to me and <clears throat> I'm in this class, I'm doing everything I can do." The teacher doesn't like me. This doesn't, don't worry about all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, or, you know, I'm, I'm at work and, you know, I really want this chick, to, you know, to see me and this and that. Well, listen, bro, like, you got to do what you got to do. Or if it's a female, you just got to play your part. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. You will be noticed. When the time comes, you will be noticed. Don't be like this guy running out here trying to get attention for everybody to see him. Doing all kinds of crazy stuff, willing to risk it all. And kill itself just to get attention. That's the biggest drug in the world. Attention. Okay. That's why they got all the social media out here. Everyone wants to be everyone wants attention. Please look at me. Please look at me. Look over here. Look at me. I'm gonna do something real silly and compromise my whole dignity. Just so you can laugh and somebody can like it and I get a bunch of likes. Kudos to you. If that's what you like, wonderful. Okay, that's cool. That's all you. As for me. I'm not doing all that crazy and silly stuff, okay? That's just not me. I'm not sitting there saying that someone doing something that's funny, okay, fine. If it's funny, it's funny. But some of this stuff that we look at on daily, I'll just be shaking my head like, bro, you really did that? You really did that? Things that make you go, hmm. So, I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to just stay on your own too. You know what I'm saying? You don't need nobody's credit. You know what I'm saying? Just stick your chest out and say, hey, I can do it. You know what I'm saying? I can get it done. I don't need your help. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get it done on my own terms. And you'll get it done on your own terms. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's... Let me ask you a question. What did the people do before social media? How did they get noticed? How did they get seen? They kept it going. They did what they needed to do. Now social media got everybody jumping out the one to want to be an actor, a musician. You know what I'm saying? A comedian. Like, if that ain't what you normally do, then that ain't what you normally do. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing what you normally do, and people come to you and be like, yo, you really can sing. Hey, yo, you a funny dude. You know what I'm saying? You really funny. Or, you know, yo, I like to, you know, and you might be portraying somebody and you doing some acting or whatever, and people going to see it. Like, if the everyday average Joe Schmo can see it, you know what I'm saying? Without you putting on the song and the dance and the show, you know what I'm saying? Chances are it's in you and it's going to have it for you when your time is coming, okay? So we all can't be at the top of the mountain all at the same time. If some people at the top of the mountain, okay, cool. You look up, watch what they do, tweak yours a little bit, and go on up there. 
You know what I'm saying? And you'll be right there in no time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just stay on your own two feet. Do your own thing and keep it moving. Don't try to impress nobody. You know what I'm saying? Do all these crazy little stunts. Like, I remember when I was younger. I'm not going to hold you up too much longer, but it's a little story. <coughs> this is a young lady I like. And it was me and this other guy, right? I'm not going to say no names. We're just going to keep it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want nobody getting offended. But... You know, I was checking her out. She liked me, and he was checking her out, and, you know, he liked her, but she didn't like him as much. She liked me a little bit more. So, he went on to portray this little role. Like, he was, like, some big and bad, strong dude, tough guy. I was always the quiet dude. So, you know, he wanted to be the big, bad, tough guy, and that's not what she was looking for. She said, I like you because you're not always in the front. You know, you kind of laid back. You know, I'm laid back, too. You know what I'm saying? I don't really like the... You know, being in, in, in the limelight like that. So, you know, make a long story short, I ended up getting her, and he ended up not getting her, and she kept it moving, you know, with me, you know what I'm saying, until everything went, crashed and burned, you know, she changed her mind, did something different. But the point that I'm making is, I didn't have to jump through hoops to get what I wanted, you know what I'm saying, at the time. You know what I'm saying, I got what I wanted, or, you know, it, it worked out for me the way I was doing it. And, you know, that was that, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, with that being said, be yourself. I said all of that. If you listen to the video and you're like, yo, what is he really saying? Just be yourself. Be you. Don't go out there doing a whole bunch of crazy, stupid ass stunts. Just be you. You perfect just the way you are, okay? The right people will organically come around you and want to be around you all the time, okay? You don't have to come in with money. You don't have to come in with, you know, drugs. You don't have to come in with... All types of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Gifts and all that kind of stuff. Just be you. Do you. And they'll come in and they'll, they'll want to be around you no matter what. All right? So with that being said, if you like what you heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that like button as well. It'll bring more awesome and loving and smart people over similar to yourself. Come check me out on my social media platforms, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. And um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of AMG's POV. Peace.